Kaira at Natal and we're here to celebrate International Women's Day 2022. I'm Georgia. I'm Tor. I'm Grace. I'm Robin. And I'm Lorna. I first realised drumming could be my job when I moved to Manchester and I went into a music shop called Johnny Roadhouse Music and I met a percussionist called Lee Mullen who suddenly one day just wasn't there, used to work every Friday and I asked a member of staff where he'd gone and it turns out he'd just gone on tour with George Michael. And then um, next time he did that, he actually got me to cover his shifts in the music shop. So I felt like my foot was already in the door in like the retail side of things. But that's when I was like, this could, like you can, I can do this for a living. The first time I realized that it could be a career was one of the times I attended the Freddie G Drum Academy in 2016. I was mixing with people, you know, from hobbyists, so weekend warriors to, you know, top professionals. And that chat every night, you realize, oh, this person does this. And it's completely different to what this person does. And there's so many different avenues for that to be a career and, and to enjoy doing it. I wouldn't say I've faced any challenges. I think it's more of a confidence thing. Um, just to put yourself out there in, in the first place and you know you just, you've got a passion for it so you're going to do it anyway it's just getting that confidence up more more so than anything I think yeah I think the confidence is actually a big thing so maybe you've got a drum kit in your room and that's as far as it gets like you've not done any, you've not even posted anything online now you've got like such a big sort of audience so you can if you feel a bit more confident you can either go out to like your local jam night or you could go to Instagram or YouTube and post a clip and suddenly everyone's like wow that's really cool because you know everyone's going to support you because you put yourself out there it's, it's it's such a big thing for someone to do. Just a bit of tenacity will take you a long way if you just crack on and keep playing and drums are also really loud so if anybody's got anything to say you can just play over them <laughs> like quite literally. <laughs> A skill you need as a young drummer is definitely just having the passion for music. I know it sounds so obvious, but listen to as much music as you can because you will absorb it like a sponge. Um, what's the point of doing it if you're not listening and trying to inspire yourself every day? Communication is a huge skill as well. So it's, it's how you speak to people, you know, the people that you gig in with that might be asking you to come in and depth for a gig. If you're fun to be around and you communicate clearly with them and, and all that kind of stuff, they're going to want to be around you again and that, that's going to, it's going to build from there. So I think just speaking to people and, and building networks as well that way is, I think. Yeah, makes go, to, it go to drum shows and stuff like that yeah, and make yourself known. One bit of advice that really sticks out for me is that someone said to me, find what you enjoy about drumming and lean into that. So stop trying to copy the trends or what you think people want to hear and, and become your own drummer because that's that's why all of our favorite drummers are our favorite drummers is they have a sound that we really enjoy if you try and copy what other people are doing you're never going to find that and it's kind of that thing of it's meant to be fun so find what you enjoy and and push towards that really There is a lot of male players and people behind the scenes who really do like help the female scene. Really, yeah. really like are oh, amazing. Craig Blundell's been amazing to me. George Frederick, all these people like don't see gender. And I think that's equally as important sometimes. They just see a drummer and that's, yeah. what, you, that's what you want them to see. Some of the positive things I've seen in the industry in terms of female drummers is you just see more of them. I was just about to say that. Yeah, like, this seems to be like a, you know, an upwards... Yeah. Of like the last now, 10 years, maybe. Yeah, exactly. You don't think, oh my God, that's a female drummer playing with Beyonce. It's now... You don't... It, it's, they're there and it's just like awesome. You don't think anything beyond that other than... Like you've just been represented by somebody that's maybe playing for years and years or whoever. And then there's things like Hit Like A Girl, which I wish was around when I was younger, which um, inspires female drummers to communicate and share their, their craft. When I was growing up, if I was to go on like a drum company's website, I'd kind of have to filter through all of the men and then I'd see one female and then I'd get upset with them. But now it's so different. Now you'd go on like, for example, Natal's website and you see the artist roster and there's so many females and it's equally balanced, which is super exciting. And I wish I had that when I was growing up. Yeah.